Hello, I am Ang the Hooja, and today we will be looking at Greek lifestyle. Some of the most important city states were Athens, Sparta, Thebes, Corinth, and Delphi. Athens and Sparta were the most powerful of these. Athens and Sparta. Athens had a democratic system, while Sparta had an oligarchic system and two kings. Greek social hierarchy was ultimately divided into four main social classes. The upper class, the metics or middle class, the lower class or freedmen and the slave class. The upper class consisted of those born to Athenian parents. They were considered the citizens of Athens. Greek gods. Zeus was the king of the gods. Hera was the goddess of marriage and woman. Poseidon was the goddess of the sea. Demeter was the goddess of agriculture. Hephaestus was the god of fire and the forges. Aphrodite was the goddess of love. Ares was the go- god of war. Athena was the goddess of wisdom and more. Artemis was the goddess of the hunt. Apollo was the god of the sun. Hermes was the, was the god of thieves and liars. Dionysus was the god of wine. Together they were all called as the twelve Olympians. Life of the rich and poor. The life of the rich was a good life. They had slaves, slaves who did work on their farms, workshops and homes. The rich could afford to send their children to school. For poor people, they could not afford to send their children to school, so they were left to scavenge. If you were rich, you could be someone important. If you were poor, you were probably a servant of someone important. To get money, the poor would work days and nights just to get enough to feed their children. All the the rich paid small amounts of money to the servants, the poor were grateful for what they got. The Greek diet was very healthy. Food in ancient Greece consisted of grains, wheat, barley, fruit, vegetables, breads and cake. The ancient Greeks grew olives, grapes, fig, uh, figs and wheat, and kept goats for milk and cheese. They ate lots of bread and beans and olives. They used grapes to make wine by stamping on them. Greek fashion. Clothing for both women and men consisted of two main garments. A tunic, either a peplos, or a cheaton and that cloak, a hemation. Greek health and medicine. Ancient records show that they set up an early medical school in Nidus in 700 BCE. Here they began the practice of observing patients who were sick. Alcaneon lived in 500 BCE and worked at the school. He wrote widely on medicine, although he was probably a philosopher of science rather than a doctor. He appears to have been the first person to wonder about about the possible internal causes of illness. He proposed that illness might result from environmental problems, nutrition and lifestyle. Esoscalpios, was a son of Apollo and the god of health and medicine. The doctor Hippocrates wrote a bunch of edicts um, doctors today call the Hippocratic Oath. Legacy of the past. The ancient Greeks left a long-standing mark on the modern world by developing new government systems called democracy, architecture, sports, art, theater, philosophy, science, mathematics, and by inventing new technologies. Some of the everlasting Greek things include the Olympic Games, invented in Pi, and the Pythagoras theorem. I hope you liked the video. Please leave a comment. Tell me if you know more about the ancient Greeks. Bye!